Psalm 24 says, The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. I'm in the middle of taking Ernie for a walk and I've discovered something. Well, I think I've discovered it a while ago, but Ernie takes forever to walk anywhere. So it just took us about 10 minutes to go 10 feet because he spends so much time sniffing. He sniffed one area for about five minutes. He kept going over it and over it and over it. That's so different from the way that we uh, look at life, isn't it? We, we uh, look at the Bible and we think, oh, I've read that bit, I don't need, to. I'll skip over that bit, I know that bit. Or we uh, come to a sermon that we think, oh, we've heard this before, I'm not gonna, and you, our minds sort of switch off. Or the sermon series, we think, oh no, we've done that before, I, I'm not going to um, engage with that. But Ernie was different, he, he's obviously been past that bit of ground many times before and many times he's gone and sniffed it and each time he must find something different and I wonder if we could take a lesson from that that we could spend time just looking at God's creation spending time sniffing it if necessary but to to use all of our senses to experience God I think as we, I, I've, I've started a new way of walking where every time Ernie stops, I stop with him and I notice what's around. I'm noticing the buds coming out in spring and uh, the green leaves starting to come back and the blue sky and the clouds. It's all amazing and, and I think sometimes we can sort of walk around with our eyes shut. So I'd like to encourage us as we're all in isolation at the moment. While we're doing our exercise, if you're outside, then why not take some time to just look at what's around you. Take time to stop and look, really look. Not just give it a glance, but really stand and look and hear and see and smell and touch and taste what God has done. God has given us all of this creation and sometimes we take it so much for granted. And I think one of the good things about what's happening at the moment is that the earth is being able to um, relax a little bit. So I suggest if, if you're out um, on your walk, on your exercise, just take time. If you can't get out to walk, if you're not allowed out of the house, why not try the garden? Sit in the garden or stand in the garden and just look. Look at what is there. Really look. You may have seen it many, many times before. But take stock of it. See what God is saying to you through it. And if you're not able to um, get out into a garden, then look through your window. You may have seen that view many times. But look at it, really look at it. What's there? What's God saying? And if you're not able to um, have time to do any of this, if you're still on the front line, if you're at work, then take time to notice the good things. There are good things in every day. Look, notice the smiles and the laughter. Notice those just um, little things that are, that are acts of kindness. Notice how people are. And let's share what we learn over these next few days as we begin to notice. Help us to appreciate what God has given us in his creation. Amen. Amen.